What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today I'm gonna to tell you about two books that made me a better person. All right, you might be thinking, why is this guy talking about books? This channel is supposed to be about style. But the thing is, style is just one way to improve yourself. It's just one aspect of personal development. And if you think about it, style or changing the way you dress is kind of like transforming yourself from the outside in because it changes the way other people perceive you and ultimately changes the way that you perceive yourself. Reading, on the other hand, and learning is kind of like transforming from the inside out. The English writer Joseph Addison famously said, reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. And I think that pretty much sums it up perfectly. The crazy thing is, reading is super affordable. I mean, it's practically free. So no matter who you are, how old you are, what your budget is, uh, where you're at in life, you know, you can read, so there's really no excuse. So I'm gonna tell you about two of my favorite books, but first I wanna thank today's sponsor, Audible, uh, for supporting The Modest Man, making this video possible. I've actually been an Audible customer for years, so I was pretty thrilled when they reached out and offered to sponsor a video. They said I could make the video about anything I wanted to, but I figured why not just make it about books? Because that's what Audible specializes in. You know, they have this huge library of audio content, audio books, original programming, news, the list goes on. I use the Audible app on my iPhone uh, when I'm working out or you know, doing chores around the house or commuting or really doing anything that doesn't require a lot of mental attention um, but where I can't actually read a book or watch a video. And you know, I don't like to waste time, so it's great to be able to kind of multitask when I'm doing some kind of mundane task like folding laundry. I can listen to a book at the same time using the Audible app. Now, if you haven't tried Audible and you want to, uh, you can go to audible.com slash modestman and get a 30-day free trial. This link will also let you download one audiobook for free of your choice. So, you know, if you haven't read or listen to the two books that I'm gonna talk about in this video, you can go ahead and get one of those for free using the link audible.com slash modestman. All right, now listen, I'm not gonna lie to you and say, you know, Ty Lopez style that I devour 10 books before breakfast every day. Knowledge. Uh, but I do love reading and I probably go through one to two books every month. And I enjoy a lot of the books that I read, most of them, but I can't say that the vast majority of them really changed my life or have a lasting impact. And that's why I didn't call this video, you know, top 25 books that every man needs to read right now. Because reading a book or listening to an audiobook takes time, you know, and time is precious. It's a commitment. So out of all the books that I've read or listened to, you know, I think that these two uh, have really literally changed my life, really sent me on a different course or changed the way that I interact with people. So the first book is The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. For me, this is the most impactful book that I've ever read. And I think that uh, while some of the tactics that are laid out in this book might be a little outdated now, the underlying lessons still hold true to this day. So specifically, this book taught me three things. The first thing is that you don't have to trade your time for money. Traditionally, most people are in a career or have a job where they're trading their hours, right, which is your most precious, valuable asset, it's non-renewable, your time, for somebody else's money. So you're trading your hours for someone else's dollars. And it doesn't matter if you have a, a hourly wage or if you're at a salaried position, you're still ultimately trading your time for money. And what Tim Ferriss says in 4-Hour Workweek is, you don't have to do that. It's not the only way to earn a living. So you can set up passive income streams that generate revenue even when you're not working on them. The most straightforward example of this would be like a rental property. You buy a piece of real estate, you rent it out, and then it earns income when you're not even there. So it is possible to decouple your time from your income, and that's what I've been striving to do, and honestly, I think that's one of the best ways to, to really gain some control and freedom in life. Second thing that this book uh, taught me is that you don't have to be married to one physical location. You don't have to live in one place for the rest of your life. And again, this kind of goes back to how you earn a living, but if you set up uh, certain types of income streams, you know, like rental properties or online businesses, uh, you can move around. You can have the freedom to move around. Like for what I do, uh, you know, as long as I have my laptop and an internet connection, I can pretty much get my work done. So you don't have to be married to one physical location, you know, for a long period of time if you don't want to. And the third takeaway from 4 Hour Work Week is that you don't have to wait till you're 65 years old to retire. You know, this traditional uh, plan, this life plan that most people buy into uh, is what Tim Ferriss calls the deferred life plan. 
And it basically, you take all of your uh, goals and all of your dreams, everything you really wanna do, and you say, I'm gonna save up as much money as I can, and then I'm gonna retire, and then I'm gonna do the things that I actually want to do, like travel. And Tim Ferriss says, no, you don't have to wait till you're 65. You know, you can take mini retirements, as he calls them, or sabbaticals at any point in your life. I did this a few years ago. You know, I was working a job I didn't like, and uh, this was uh, right when I started The Modest Man. It wasn't really getting any, you know, traffic or making any money. Um, I just started it, and I was, I was working this job, and I was like, you know, I don't like this job. Um, and I don't wanna just get into another job that I don't like, so I'm gonna take a sabbatical. And I, I quit my job, um, I rented out my apartment, and I went to South America for three months. And, um, you know, I worked on The Modest Man, and, I, and I, I met a lot of cool people, and I had a lot of cool experiences. And, you know, that's something that anybody can do, and uh, it's, it's more realistic than you might think. So you don't necessarily have to wait till 65 to do the things that you're dreaming about, whether it's travel or anything else. If I hadn't read The 4-Hour Workweek, uh, I wouldn't have discovered online business, you know, the idea of passive income, blogging, probably wouldn't have this YouTube channel, so you wouldn't be watching me right now. Um, this is definitely the one book that had uh, the biggest impact on my life. So if you feel like, you know, you're caught in the rat race right now and you, and you have this feeling that maybe there's something else for you, I highly recommend reading this book. And hey, if you get the Audible free trial, you can even download it as your one free audiobook. Okay, and the second book that uh, made me a better person is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Now you've probably heard of this book. It comes highly recommended by a lot of different people. And the crazy thing is it was published originally in 1936. And the lessons that uh, Carnegie lays out in this book still apply to our modern day life. Here's the main takeaway I got from this book. Everybody wants to be liked. You know, everybody wants to be uh, interesting. Everybody wants to be a great conversationalist. But most people don't know how to achieve this status. And most people are, are trying to get there uh, in a backwards way. Simply put, most people talk about themselves too much as if you can convince somebody that you're interesting, that you're worth listening to and following and trusting just by telling them about yourself. Now, it turns out this actually very rarely works. Uh, the best conversationalists and the most interesting people, uh, they don't actually talk very much. They're very good listeners and they're very good at letting other people tell their story and finding interest in other people. Here's the practical application of this. Next time you're talking to somebody, rather than talk about yourself or tell them about your day or your job or how you're feeling or whatever, just ask them questions about their life. Everybody likes talking about themselves and their own lives, so give them a platform to do so. Let them tell you their story. I guarantee they will walk away from the conversation uh, with an impression of you as a caring, thoughtful, and interesting person, even if they didn't learn anything about you. So if you wanna get better at interacting with people, and if you wanna improve your social skills and your conversation skills, definitely check out How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Okay, so those are the two books that had a serious impact on my life, a lasting impact that, you know, they really, really changed who I am and made me a better person. Uh, but I wanna hear from you. You know, have you read these books? Do you have any books that really changed your life? Let me know down in the comments. And until next time, stay stylish.